I'll be buying in Perth for the next couple of years, then I'll be buying back in Queensland, and then I'll be buying everything up affordable in Western Sydney. So this property, right, I'm not gonna end up buying it. I'm gonna buy a unit block instead. But I would buy this. Five slash six, seven, Beams Avenue, Mount Druitt. Now everyone believes Mount Druitt is a rough place. Would you look, it is. Well, 369, for a two bed, two bath, one car unit, like if you look online, what other ones are selling for? That's the same complex. It is bigger, but that's 481. Really should buy that property for 369. That's value to me. And like, I should buy that, but you know, many people would see that and be like, oh, one, it's Mount Druid. Oh, it's in a big block. It's two bedroom, two bathroom, has depreciation. Stratas are probably about 700 a quarter. You'd rent that out for like 500 a week. So $500 per week, and it's only 369. You probably get it for 365. That's still about a six, 7% return in Sydney. That has become affordable technically. They haven't moved in a while and they will move. That property to me, I believe a bank would value that at 430,000. I did have a bank value of that at 430,000. And that's why I was gonna buy it easily for 365 because if I buy it for 365, then you know I can get the equity back out of it, recycle the equity and buy another one. But that's a steal. The other ones that have sold, like that's in the same block, 481 sale, two bed, two bath. So you gotta look at the two bed, two bath, one car, 429, 510, that's obviously nicer, newer, 540, 390, 400, 505, 540, 505, 505, 505, these are all off the plan probably. 450, 505, like these are all semi-modern properties, right? Like this one is smaller, like there's so much sales that indicate that two bed, two bath, one car, the average median price for a modern property that is two bed, two bath, one car, which is a unit in that suburb is significantly higher. So the odds are getting this valued higher are very high. And that's where I bought properties very similar to this, which I'll, I'll buy them for let's say 360, and then I'll get a value, get a desktop valuation from a bank before I even put an offer in, and the bank says 430, and I'll be like, oh, I'm buying it for 360. And the bank, I know, I know a bank will already value it at 430. How do I do that? I speak to a broker. You gotta have good contacts with a broker. If people are watching this video need, you know, uh, help with that, reach out to the team. We've got mortgage brokers that can help you out with that. Buying it for 360, then getting it valued at 430,000. In a percentage value, what's 360 up to 430,000 without doing a renovation? Most people would spend 40 grand to get a higher valuation. I just buy a property low, get it valued and get the equity out and buy another one.